though this isn't the inevitable robot uprising, instead you're looking at something that's been part of an elaborate advertising campaign. What's happening here is you're mixing video from a camera on the back of this part of the bus stop with some pre-prepared special effects. Get the perspective and the lighting right and you've got an ad that got 4.7 million views on YouTube in less than a week. Now, for this to work properly, everything the camera sees has to line up directly with this grid. Exact measurements are important because the graphic designers need to know exactly where to put their visuals. The installation itself, though, is quite simple. Along with the camera, there's a 65-inch Full HD screen inside the shelter. That's connected to a single computer running Windows 7. In fact, all the hard calculations for the scenarios have been done in advance, and that took around three months. We've taken some, um, some plate shots of Oxford Street, and we've reversioned that into a 3D world. All of the content that we've created within that space uses the environment specifically for that bus stop. If we were going to roll that out across the 1,500 bus stops around the country, we'd have to go and do that exact same process with all of them. That's where the challenge is, really. We worked with Unilever on one of their deodorant brands to make angels appear like they were falling from the skies, landing on the station concourse around users. It was the first time augmented reality had been seen large format. The developers also had to make the videos work in different lighting scenarios, for example, nighttime or here, dusk. It's an incredibly painstaking and elaborate process. As consumers get more savvy about brand interaction, ads are going to get more sophisticated. After all, sharing engaging and interesting videos with others is fuel for our social status updating habit. And if the content is sponsored or not, that seems to come second to whether it's actually any good. On second thoughts, I might uh, walk.